hello everyone so today in this video we are going to discuss uh, the next exam that is microcontroller some of the important uh, arithmetic logic programs assembly level programs that is alp programs along with that we are going to discuss some of the c programs okay that would be coming in uh, module uh, 4 and 5 okay from all the modules some of the important uh, assembly language programs we are going to see okay which you need to be studying before entering the exam okay these kind of programs would be asked okay let's discuss some of the simple alp programs now so starting with the one simple alp program is related to write an alp to multiply two 8 bit numbers and stored at uh, 30h and 31h address location and we need to store the 16 bit result whatever we get after multiplication in the address 32h and 33h okay so here this is that simple assembly language program here they have shown all the before execution and after execution steps what and all would be happening so the first line is always uh, uh, the assembler directive used is org 00h that means the program is getting started okay this is the command for that org means origin hope you all might be knowing it so move r not comma hash 30h we are declaring the value of 30h address location and we are putting it to in the register r not so that r not would be equal to 30 then move whatever is there at r not that is at 30th location that is 11 that i am moving it to a first that is the accumulator then incrementing r r not so that the r not value would be shifted and it would be now 31 okay then again whatever is there at r not now that is 22 that would be moved at b that is move b comma r not then mul a comma a b this stands for multiplication of these two numbers okay yeah mul a b okay this is the simple instruction for multiplication then again increment r not since they have asked to store the 16 bit result in 32h and 33 h where the value of 32h would be stored as a lsb and 33h would be stored as msb okay then again increment r not move at r not comma a after the uh, calculation 11 into 22 if we do this this is the answer we get in hexadecimal that is 0242 where the last two bits are for uh, lsb bit and the first two bits are for uh, hsb bit that is higher byte okay always the lower byte whatever the answer we get product the lower byte always stores the value of a and the higher byte always stores the value of b okay so in this way the value of a would be stored at the location 32h and value of b would be stored at the location 33h and like this we need to be writing the program and ending the program using the assembler directive okay so this is one simple program related to multiplication let's see some of the other programs yeah so it's similar this is the program for division same thing here but in this case what we need to be doing is the instruction used is div a comma b and after execution after division whatever the quotient and the remainder we get right the quotient is always stored at a and the remainder is always stored at b and like this the program would be written for division operation okay after the division the uh, moving data all remains the same the declaration part and all so please note this down as well this is one division program very very important program multiplication and division programs they would be asking it okay so the next program is related to addition that is write an alp to add the byte in the uh, ram location 34h and 35h and store the result in register r5 in lsb and r6 is in msb using the indirect addressing mode so they have mentioned the addressing mode to be used that is indirect addressing mode okay so that's why we need to be performing in that same way first org 00h move r0 comma as 34h the value of r0 is 34 at 34th location whatever value is there then move it to a okay that is the accumulator then increment r0 that is now r0 would be 35 now okay then add a comma at r0 okay whatever is there at uh, r0 now we need to buy, add with a that is 44 plus 11 the result we are getting it to 55 that result we need to be moving it to r5 okay so move r5 comma a okay then again they have told to store the lsb value of r5 and r6 as msb value but if we add these two things we won't get any carry right so that's why we are the carry generated is zero so that's what we need to doing next is in order to put the carry in the register r6 first whatever the a value is there we need to clear it okay for that we need to be doing instruction move a comma has 00h then add with carry a comma has 00h whatever the carry generated in this case the carry generated is zero so the value of uh, a would be 00 plus 00 plus 00, 00 only okay so that is 01 then uh, whatever the value of a is there now move it to r6 okay so like this this is one simple program for addition so please note it down so now let's discuss some of the logical instructions okay 
which uh, in the middle of the program you might be knowing so one first logical instruction is logical and okay it's the op code for logical and is a n l a what it does is a n l a comma hash 88h okay that is here if we give one value for a for example before execution let's let's say that we have declared the value of a as 60 okay so now what we need to do is we need to perform and operation for this 60 number would be they would be given giving one another number that is a n l a comma hash 88 h so whatever the value of a that is 60 we need to be doing the and operation with the number 88 that is uh, substitute the all the 8 bit values for 60 and 88 88 is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 these two are 8 and 8 88 so here 0 1 1 0 stand for 6 and 0 0 0 0 stand for 0 so 1 by 1 for each bit perform and operation okay we know that and operation is 1 when both the terms are 1 so that way 0 0 is 0 0 is 1 0 is 0 so the whole thing is 0 only so the answer obtained here after logical and is 0 okay so this is the opcode for logical and Similarly for logical or the opcode is ORLA they would be giving the value of A along with that we would be giving one more number we need to be perform, performing the or, uh, or operation that is addition okay or operation according to the truth table perform it and whatever value of A is there that would be stored at A okay so one similarly a logical XOR okay we would be performing the XOR operation and the next uh, opcode is logical NOT for NOT we need to be using the command CPLA the CPL stands for complement okay that is the reverse of the number okay for example if we give a value of a as 38 if you uh, apply the instruction CPLA what they what it will be doing is the value of 88 its complement it would be all the bits would be reversed okay so that's why after the reversal of all the bits so 1 would be replaced by 0 and 0 would be replaced by 1 so here the answer in this case is 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 that is 77 okay so this is the new value of a now after we use the co command cpla similarly one more important instruction is swap instruction that is it swaps the lower nibble with the higher nibble for example if we command give the command swap a so if the value of a if suppose before execution is 56 then after execution what it, what it would be it would be swapping that is 56 would be now 65 okay 5 would be replaced by 6 and 6 would be replaced by 5 so this is the uh, swap instruction simple so one more instruction is rotate right okay that is rra what it does is let suppose you they have taken the value of a as 68 and they would now we would be writing the number 60 uh, the number 67 as 0110 this is 6 and 0111 that is 767 okay the rotate right what it does is it would be shifting one one bit position to the right side okay for example so this rotate right what would be this bit would be coming here now first bit and what the in place of zero the zero would be shifting one here like this it would be shifting once twice so okay what now what would be happening if this one comes to first position this zero is shifted then this one is shifted one is shifted zero is shifted zero is shifted one is shifted one is shifted so like this the new value we are getting after we do the rotate right instruction that is 1011 in hexadecimal that is b and 0011 in hexadecimal that is 3 so our new value of a is b3 okay similarly rotate left that is rl of a rotate left instruction what it does is again one value of a they would be giving 22h same thing 11 one bit would be shifted to the left side okay so now this zero would be coming here last bit and this is the number obtained after shifting a single single position okay yeah so here this is the 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 then the answer stored is 44 so one more important instruction is exchange instruction that is given as xch okay so you need to be remember one thing that whenever you do the exchange instruction after exchange uh, op code always we know you should not be writing the registers r0 to r7 okay always after xch the fixed letter is a xch a okay yeah so what it does is it would be, you would be declaring the value of a and the 54h location whatever the value is there that is a b those two would be exchanged okay that is whatever is there in the 54th location that would be coming at a and whatever is there at a that would be going to the 54th location so this is the simple command of exchange so please uh, note this also very important so this is the next code that is 10 8 bit numbers are stored in the internal data memory for location 50h write a program to increment the data okay so here uh, 10 8 bit numbers okay are, loca are located as, uh, as given here from 50h okay the location starts from 50h and it ends at 59h okay we need to write a program to increment the data 
okay the same thing from 50h declare the and put it in r not so move r1 comma hash 0h means that from r not 50h to 59h how many uh, numbers are stored that is 10 10 numbers so that's why in hexadecimal the value of 10 is 0h then what we need to be doing we need to be declaring one label l1 increment at r not whatever is there at r not we need to be incrementing that okay yeah so now what it will be happening increment at r not whatever is there at r not that is at 50 it would be incrementing and it would be going to the next location 51 so now at 51th location that is now the data is 23 so now increment r not okay so r not is 50 now the increment the r not value and move the uh, location to 51 inch okay so now what is next thing dj and z that is decrement and jump if it is non zero uh, r1 to l1 so after uh, dj and z decrement so uh, decrement and jump r1 that is 0 ah it will be decrementing to 9 so 9 r1 if it is non zero so 9 is not equal to 0 so it would be jumping to l1 again again same thing whatever is there at increment uh, at 23 increment it and this is the program for incrementing the program so next thing is we need to be knowing some uh, important jumps that is uh, so mainly there are two kinds of jumps that is conditional and unconditional jumps so what do you mean by conditional jumps is it jumps to the required memory location whenever the condition is true or satisfied some of the unconditional jumps are jb jnb that is jump if there is bit jump there is, jump if there is no bit jump if there is carry jump if there is no carry decrement and jump if the register value non zero compare and jump if there are not equal these are the, some of the conditional jumps and unconditional jumps it does not check the condition whether it is true or false okay it does not check the condition whether it is true or false those are unconditional jumps so some of the unconditional jumps are long jump short jump absolute jump etc so again this is one more very important topic that is subroutine or call and return instructions there are mainly two types of call instructions okay one is l call that stands for long call and one is absolute call in long call it is called as long call it is a three byte instruction steps to execute this long call is pro pc is equal to program counter plus three okay the next is stack pointer is equal to stack pointer plus one the next step is lower byte is loaded into the stack from zero to seven bit then again stack pointer we need to be incrementing the stack pointer by one then higher byte is loaded in the stack okay yeah absolute call is the two bit instruction again here pc is equal to pc plus two since it's a two byte instruction okay then again increment stack pointer then lower byte is loaded into the stack then again increment stack pointer then uh, higher byte is loaded into the stack so this was the procedure of uh, call and in, uh, return instruction that is long call and absolute call and yeah this is a uh, one more important uh, topic related to 8051 pin diagram pin structure of 8051 so it can basically consists of 40 pins and these 40 pins are divided into four ports that is port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 okay from uh, pin number uh, 1 to uh, 8 it is port 1 from pin number 10 to 17 it is port 3 pin number uh, 32 to 40 it is port 0 and pin number 21 to 29 it is port 2 okay so these are the terms here okay these are from port 1.0 to port 1.7 so similarly we have port 3.0 to port 3.7 port 2 port 0 okay so please note this pin diagram also so one more important concept related to the program is the program status word okay program status word again this is an 8 bit register which contains the arithmetic logic unit and the bank select bits of register banks okay so in this the first bit is the carry flag then next is the auxiliary carry flag next is the available to the user for general purpose or we can say that it is a general purpose register okay rs1 rs0 register bank select bits okay and here ov stands for overflow and p stands for parity flow okay so these are some of the bit contents which is present in the program status word okay yeah so that's all for this session so let's continue some of the important programs uh, from module 3 4 and 5 in the next session okay so whatever uh, i have discussed in this session i've just brushed up some of the important concepts so please go through it okay and uh, like share subscribe guys and do support our channel and uh, do share it with your nearest friends okay and also all the model paper related uh, questions would be available in our channel in a short amount of time so stay tuned thank you